Hi, this is Chris from FreeHuntingLand.com with another video. Uh, how to, what we're going to do here is log on and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks in Google Earth that seem to um, be a, a sticking point for some of our members. So I'm going to log on. Username and password. Hit log on. Okay, I'm at the uh, membership page. Remember, we go to our product here, the statewide. Um, with everything, we go here. Let's go get. Um, let's go get this. Uh, this region here, the West Central region. Opening that up. Google Earth. Again, now it's going to ask for your same username and password that you entered. Remember this lowercase username. Hit OK. Here's the data coming through. That didn't take too long. Okay, one other thing I, I wanted to show you was the uh, the map overlay. So down here at the bottom is this little uh, color-coded key. Let's go get that and get that into Google Earth as well. Okay, that's just a reminder of what the color colors mean, what type of land. Okay, so <clears throat> one, the first thing is to just show you the transparency because you want to be able to see the imagery below the map, below the colored region. So once you say, um, you know, okay, I see some some MFL uh, managed forest law or forest crop law land here, and I want to zoom in and take a look at it. You know, you can't really see what's underneath it. So you can change the transparency of the whole region by first clicking on the region, and you can see it it gets shaded a little bit here. And then this is the slider transparency here. You move that to about halfway <clears throat> or more. Or you can go all the way off. Okay. Let's close this. So now when we zoom in, we can see what's underneath there. So remember, purple is uh, MFL open that we can hunt. <clears throat> Thing two, zooming in. Here's your controls. When you zoom in, you can uh, you use this plus or minus here, and you can also tilt. Um, let's see, you can tilt the whole globe. I'm not going to do that right now. <clears throat> One new thing with the 2009 data is you can click on any region, and it'll tell you how much of that is open. N most of these things, uh, 40 acres, are open for hunting but on a few that are not. In this case, when we click on this, we see that this portion is 32 acres that's open. Um, you know, kind of makes sense to me um, because you can see here some field, you know, it's probably eight acres. Um, you know, it's probably this part is not open to hunting. Okay. Oh, one other thing too with the transparency is what we did now is we change the transparency of just the selected layer which is the manage forest law okay so the whole group we <clears throat> changed about 50 percent transparency so what can happen is some people have changed the transparency of one layer and then and then minimized the uh, or uh, should say kind of closed up the layer here and then started monkeying with the transparency of this layer and the one layer is, is basically virtually gone so I like to just adjust the transparency of all of them as a whole but if you do happen to see one layers kind of disappeared you uh, <clears throat> excuse me you need to know that you need to go in here and bring that layer transparency back up okay um, we're going to go do some other things in the next video. 
but I uh, just wanted to show you that those new features. One thing I like to do um, before I close Google Earth, just because the next time I come in here, I don't know if I want to show all this data or wait for it to download. So I uncheck my regions, and then when you close Google Earth for the first time after downloading a region, you want to say exit. And it's going to ask you if you want to save these things to your My Places folder. You know, you say yes. Okay. And the next time you open Google Earth, they'll be there, but they, they won't, they'll be unchecked and they won't be displayed. So all you have to do is check the box to get them to display. Okay. So that's it. Till the next video. Thanks for watching.